This video is a production of the College of Arts and Sciences at Eastern Kentucky University and has been made possible through an EPSCoR grant from the National Science Foundation. So the film we're working with in particular is uh, safety acetate film and this was used globally uh, for about solidly 50 years or upwards of 70 years. So from the early 1900s up through the 1950s and 60s, uh, it was the main film used for photography. So in, in, any fo photographic history that's been recorded, uh, is, we could lose it if, we're, if we don't scan it and restore it. My name is Dr. George Landon. I am an associate professor in computer science at EKU. I'm, I direct our interactive multimedia program, and uh, we mainly do things related to computer graphics, computer games, uh, basically anything that's interactive related to computer applications. Right. This is the inverted image. So with so my research, area, I'm specifically very, looking very at digitizing and restoring uh, old film negatives. So these are negatives or film that have been deteriorating due to uh, various issues. A lot of it's just time or issues with the material that can cause uh, the, the film to wrinkle and crack and uh, fold and roll up. All ki kinds of problems that make the film unusable or no longer uh, scannable. My area of research is uh, scanning objects or doing 3D scanning of objects to try and preserve them or also restore them if necessary. We set up the display and the camera. Right? So the camera is looking at the display itself and uh, the display will show a series of, of stripes. Right? And the stripes, the camera observes the stripes passing across the surface of the display. You know, film or using games, you know, three models themselves, um, are typically d developed by an artist, and the artist uses their own interpretation to make right, the digital version of an object. When you actually do a full 3D scan, you're getting an, a very accurate replica. So if you have an accurate digital version or copy of an object, then you may want to produce a, another a copy, right, a physical version of the object. So where 3D printing comes in is that Again, once you have an accurate representation of, of this object in 3D, you can then print out a real version of it. The acetate negatives were introduced in the early 1900s, and they became the prevalent film for photography. And uh, they were used up to the 1950s almost exclusively around the world. Just getting access to scan them is kind of an issue. The film itself undergoes what's called uh, or the degradation or the t deterioration is called the vinegar syndrome. And that's where, um, with humidity, where a little bit of uh, water is introduced or exposed to the negatives, um, they start to decompose and they release uh, acetic acid. And that's referred to as the vinegar syndrome. And you can actually smell vinegar from these uh, negatives. So uh, we, we have the chance, if, if these are deteriorating, to lose all of our physical history, our, our photographic history of that period for a solid 50 years. Um, and these are literally millions and millions of photographs that we could lose if we don't uh, ca capture them and restore them.